Hey guys, this is my ATM 51A scooter, Tau Tau. Um, I did a 150cc swap to this. I want to go through a couple things with you on it first. Uh, I used a VIP scooter, one of the big ones. It was kind of like this, but that's just a 50 pulled the engine off of it and I also removed the frame mounts which are right here I welded those in I know this thing needs to be washed real bad too um, the whole thing's dirty but I put the engine in now when I put the engine in I dropped it lower on the frame so the engine is more flat than it usually is on most scooters um, I have very limited amount of room up here for pulling like the valve cover off it will come off but it's really tight to get off um, I use the stock exhaust off the 150 I did have to cut the back fender the only thing I have left is the license plate light because or license plate because the back wheel suck out way too far there it is from the side view there's the stock 150 air cleaner. I did cut right through there. I need to clean that up. Um, the front forks are off of a Tau Tau Thunder 2012 and so is the front fender. The forks will slide right into the hole for where the original forks went on these things um, and everything hooks up um, I did use the uh, front brake caliper off of this scooter originally which is a single master cylinder or single piston I'm sorry um, the wheels are off of the 150 VIP and so is the front rotor a couple things I had to do back here <coughs> was this mount I had to cut it right here because it was gonna hit up in here up a little bit higher um, I did use the 50 cc shocks back here um, but what I did about a month ago I changed and I added the other shock in here so it has dual rear shocks now uh, there's the other frame mount that I put in uh, it's welded on both sides um, I think I think that's about it um, I did use the speedometer cable off of the VIP when I used the front puck and it just screws in up here up the top so but I did not have to buy anything so to speak as far as mounts or anything crazy I still have the uh, loop mount in here that came off the VIP but everything actually fit pretty good um, now the kickstand that is the factory one from this scooter I tried to use the other stand and it was almost too tall so 
fired up for you. I do have the stock air cleaner on it still. So. Yeah, this thing had a ton of miles on it. On the uh, original 50cc engine. So. But, the thing runs out really good. Uh. It'll do about 60 miles an hour, and it doesn't matter if it's going up a hill or what either. It just doesn't care. Um, I can keep a constant 60 to 65 on it. 65 is about the max for it. But who would uh, want to run something this small anyway over 65 miles an hour? Not me. I don't have a death wish but there it is it is done there's the seat for it so if you have any questions go ahead and uh, get with me if you need any measurements um, like I said I use the stock frame mounts off of the original VIP 150 cc um, so that's about it i think you can actually run this is a long case engine by the way this isn't a short case if you want wanted to you could probably run a short case engine you'd probably be able to keep your back fender um and i think the short case ones only had one rear shock so that would save you over here from having to add another shock in so, but, you know, it doesn't really look like it's been messed with until you see the tire size, but also on how far back the tire's sticking out, though. But I did, like I said, jam the engine forward pretty far. So, I don't know if you can actually tell how close it is. There's the original mount hole for the lower motor mount. So, it's pretty close. That's it. Have a good one.